My friend, I'm Mr. Twisty, coming your way with stories and laughter for you every day. From my treehouse on the ground where the fun never ends, with magic and balloons and stories, let's be best friends. With jokes that'll delight, well, sometimes, and magic tricks too, each day brings new wonders and joy just for you. Adventures await with each turn of the page. Come join the excitement no matter your age. We'll twist up some fun with balloons of all states and dive into stories through forests and lakes. Creativity's key in all that we do. Hey, let's get started. There's so much to do. Welcome back to another round of Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventures. It's been a blast hanging out with you every week, and I am thrilled to have you join me again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Brace yourself. I can feel some seriously cheesy jokes brewing. <laughs> I bought a broken puppet. No strings attached. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Oh, I have a show to do, but, but I don't know if I can stop. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a bag of potatoes? <laughs> Mashed potatoes. <laughs> uh, speaking of elephants, because who wasn't? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a fish? Swimming trunks. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Uh, never mind. Okay, I got a show to do. Do you ever dream about what you will do when you grow up? When I was a kid, I was a lot shorter and younger, too. I wanted to be a lot of things. I always wanted to be a magician. Being a magician, can magicians can do the impossible. That seemed cool. What do you think about doing as a grown-up? Any dreams that you have? I love to dream, and I hope you do, too. Speaking of goals, what's the name of a woman between two goalposts? Annette! <laughs> well, in any case, anyway, I ran into my first grade teacher. Oh, it wasn't too hard, don't worry, she nearly fell over, but I caught her. I, I didn't mean to run into her. Well, she said she always wondered what her students would do as grown-ups. But she always knew I would be a performer. She was thinking about that as school was getting ready to be done for the year and summer was starting. Goodbye to one class and hello to another. Hey, what do you get when you cross a first grade teacher and a class of kids going home for the summer? Today's story, Instead of Goodbye, by Sadie Muk. Instead of goodbye, I'll say, see you when I will. I'll see you in the jobs you do and the way you show your skill. Your future's just so bright, there's so much that awaits. This class has been a gift, and being your teacher's been so great. I'll see you in the pets you treat, the diseases that you cure. I'll see you in all you conquer, and in all that you endure. I'll see you in the sports you play and yell, yes, you made the goal. I'll see you in your shiny badge and the places you patrol. I'm here to root you on through everything you do. With all the ups and downs, I know you can push through. I'll see you in the games you make and the people you inspire. I'll see you in the work you do and the lights that you will wire. I'll see you in the people you love and the friends that you hold dear. I'll see you in the trouble you face and how you persevere. I know that you can do it. I never had a doubt. Even when life gets hard, you're on the perfect route. I'll see you in the meals you cook and the people you will serve. I'll see you in the things you fix and the forests you conserve. I'll see you in the machines you build and the projects you design. I'll see you on the Broadway stage and note how much you shine. Whatever you put your mind to, I know that you'll succeed. You'll surely meet all your goals, that is guaranteed. 
I'll see you in the art you make and the galleries that you show. I'll see you in the food I eat that you've worked so hard to grow. I'll see you in the students you teach and all that you discover. I'll see you in all the things you find and all that you uncover. No doubt you're bound for greatness, no limit to your success. This is just the beginning, the whole world you will impress. I'll see you in the songs you write and the stories that you tell. I'll see you in the awards you win and the ways that you excel. I'll see you in the news and say, hey, I taught that kid. I'll see you in the things you do, the ones I always hoped you did. Goodbye can be scary, this we know is true. But when our paths cross again, oh, what stories we'll review. I'll see you in the life you lead and the children that you may raise. I'll see you in the smiles you bring, even on rainy days. I'll see you in the ways you help and all those that you aid. But most of all, I'll see you in the memories that we made. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'll always be your teacher and I'll always be here for you. Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventure is brought to you by Birthday Buddy, the magical birthday countdown companion, like Elf on a Shelf, but making birthdays magical. For more information, visit mrtwisty.com. I love that story. Well, I was able to track down the book online, and you can too in the links below in the description. Did that story give you any ideas about what you might want to do when you grow up? It's fun to think about, and it's fun to think about a lot of different jobs you might have. This story also made me think of the special teachers I've had. Do you have a favorite teacher? Did you know there are over 4 million teachers in the United States alone and over 94 million teachers in the world? Wow, that's a lot of teachers. This story also made me think about summer vacation. Do you have fun plans for the summer? What are you looking forward to? I like to go to amusement parks in the summer. Hey, what do you call a dog that does magic? A labracadabrador. <laughs> Did you ever wonder why fish live in salt water? <laughs> because Pepper makes them sneeze. <laughs> yeah. How many letters are not in the alphabet? <laughs> the ones in the mail. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. I have to stop. You want me to go on? Oh, okay, I get it. I have a balloon for you today. I thought I would make an airplane. I always thought it would be amazing to be a pilot and fly in an airplane. Okay, well, next week I promise a whole lot more of everything that made today's show special. I hope you will join me again next week for another episode of Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventures. Can I count on you? See you next week. Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventures Mr. Twisty's Storytime Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventure So much fun with Mr. Twisty